Hey guys, just gonna do a quick uh, Git tutorial here. Um, I'm gonna talk about Source Tree. So basically, with Git, it um, Source Tree gives you a visual representation of exactly how um, all of the branches and commits look like on the remote branch and on your local. So basically, you'll see like a, a line like this, where each of the dots represent a commit. And for each commit, you'll see like who who did the commit, what time did it did the commit occur, and um, a little description. So first thing, you know, download this um, from uh, sourcetreeapp.com, and I'll just put this in my downloads folder. And when you open this up, you should see a screen like this. So the first thing is asking you which service you want to use, Bitbucket, and no, we want to, we're going to use GitHub. So let's just press skip here, leave all these default, leave these default. Uh, for this one, it's asking if we have an SSH key, just say no, because we don't uh, need that yet. And for me, I'm already logged in here, but uh, basically the way you would add a repository is like this um just a second okay so you should be seeing a screen like this um and basically you want to set up a remote account so in here you'll see that you have the option for add an account. So just go ahead and click add an account. And before you do anything else here, go back to your uh, web browser and type in GitHub just to verify that you have actually signed in already in your browser. Um, this is important because over back on source tree, we want to select GitHub as our hosting service and we're going to use OAuth as our authentication method. So you don't have to actually type in anything into username here. You just hit refresh OAuth token. And this is going to make use of the login details that are already existing in your browser for GitHub. Now, if you hit OK and then refresh to get all of your repos, you'll see all of the repos that you have already created on GitHub. So for us, uh, I'm going to give an example of getting Tanjore as my repo. Um, and you have the option of cloning it if you don't already have it locally. So I'll do that first. Um, so I'm just going to pick a place that I want to clone this into. I'm going to pick this GitHub folder, create a new folder called Tanjore. And then I'll press select. And that's it. So I'll hit clone. And now I can see all of the uh, commits that have occurred recently. Um, we can see that if you go all the way to the bottom, scroll down, uh, the initial commit here is going to be the first line. And then from here, all of the branches are when individuals, com contributors have have run git branch or git checkout dash b to create a new branch. And when it comes back, you can see that's when a merge happened. So for example, here or here, um, the merge of main branch, uh, sorry, the merge of this, this branch back into Tanjore occurred here. Uh, we can see pull requests that get merged. So when a pull request gets merged, you can see it, it makes like a, uh, a little bending uh, and ending of the branch by going into the next branch. And uh, eventually everything gets merged back into main. So main is where uh, our uh, production branch is going to be. So th in this, these columns, we can see that uh, there's these branch names. So we can see that there's someone made a Vikram branch. Uh, main is obviously our main branch. Git tut. This is a branch I made earlier today. 
uh, sorry, uh, a few days ago. And we can see that here's the date, uh, here's the author, and this part here is the commit hash. So every single commit has a unique hash identifier if you ever want. To, and, and if you ever want to check out a specific commit, you can always re reference the hash. Um, and yes, yeah, so that, that's it for, uh, for source tree. Actually, a couple more things. You can do all of the, the main uh, functionality that you would do from the terminal or PowerShell. You can do it from here. Like if I do a pull, this will pull um, the latest changes from the main branch. Uh, it also shows us which branch uh, I'm on currently in my local folder. Um, and if I need to do a push, if I had any local changes, I could do a push as well. Uh, we'll just look at the output here. And pretty much this is just a wrapper around these git commands. Um, Fetch is something we likely use less often. Uh, it just means like to bring the uh, references to our local machine without actually changing them. Um, uh, we can make new branches, we can merge, um, but I don't really use these. I would rather use VS Code for um, actually doing things like creating new branches. Um, and merges will do that through PRs on GitHub itself. So unlikely that we'll use it through here. Yeah, uh, other than that, uh, nothing else too much to note here. Oh, yeah, so you, here you can see where people are at with their remote uh, branches. So for example, if I look at this branch here, Super July 28th, I can see that there have been a couple of new branches, uh, sorry, new commits on top of his branch. So he's gonna have to do a merge of the main branch into his branch, or he's gonna have to rebase his branch on top of main. So I'm gonna do a second video to explain how merging and rebasing works. Um, so yeah, feel free to watch the next video for how to see how that works.